Hi guys and welcome to today's video where after way too long I'm finally showing you the tack room DIY makeover video. I'm so excited to show you guys and um, it is such a transformation and um, you literally wouldn't be able to recognize our tack room anymore. So basically in this video I'm going to talk you through what we did and I filmed loads of clips along the way so I'll be talking you through it and then putting in little clips um, of what we're doing, how we're doing it. So first up, a few clips of our old tack room. Um, so basically our tack room is just a stable that um, the previous owners of the yard had used as the tack room. So that's why I just use that as a tack room too. So as you can see, the walls were like just concrete, um, which did mean everything got very damp. The walls were often quite damp. Um, and then also my tack got very damp. Um, and we just have a concrete floor there. I had a few hooks um, up. There was an old hay rack still in the in the tack room because obviously it was a stable. Um, I didn't have a huge amount of storage. I often ended up having to just pile things on top of each other and it wasn't really very ideal. Also, another kind of big thing for me was that the light was terrible in the tack room. It didn't light up the tack room at all. It was always dark in there. So I was really excited to get a new light for the tack room too. So the first steps was cleaning everything out. I took out all my tack. I threw out a lot of old broken tack that I just had and I have no idea why it was still there. I also gave away tons of like bridles and rugs and everything like that because I had so many bridles and so many of them were from when I rode ponies and stuff like I don't need five pony bridles I don't even have a pony in the yard at the moment so things like that there was just so much to get rid of so I gave that all away so that was good I then had to take everything down off the walls so all the saddle racks and the bridle hooks the feeder oh my god my yeah my dad had a lot of fun taking that down enjoy those clips now <laughs> So for the walls, we decided to put up um, plywood on the walls. It would really brighten up the place. It's very hard to paint the stone that was there. Like you're never gonna do a good job of painting it. And it also means that it's really easy to put up any hooks or saddle racks or anything like that onto the plywood as opposed to onto the concrete blocks. So we had to put in these like, oh man, this is gonna be filled with me not knowing the names of things. We had to put up pieces of wood to attach the plywood onto <laughs> so so whatever they're called we were putting them in um my dad had to like drill a hole in the concrete first and then I would like I got to like hammer in the <laughs> the bolt to keep it onto the wall um so yeah I did my helping I helped quite a bit of this um so yeah I've like never drilled anything really before so this was a learning curve <laughs> Ali, Ali, Ali building her own, what's it called? Tack room? Tack room. This is called Construction 101. Vit, vit, victory at work. Hammered like... It's good getting hurt to it because if something falls down. So once we had those pieces of wood up, we then put up the boards of plywood. So we put them all around, had to cut some down to size. Um, this is where my drilling skills improved leaps and bounds. Um, I had to do a lot of drilling. I even got like a sore on my finger from so much drilling. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was fun. It was really fun. And I was happy to help and be kind of part of it. So now I can say that I kind of built my tack room. Maybe we should screw it in and screw it back out and then we screw it in the second. <laughs> See, this is what I do. That's it, that's it. Yes. Hey! Hey! <laughs> There's more. Uh, Josh, just ring up that. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just trying to get this going now. Right. So, your fingers are on the screw until the code. 
massive. It does, Dad. I have to admit, I do agree with you. It's, um, yeah, it was it was definitely beyond my mental capacity. Holly fell off a horse today. Maybe she'll fall off a ladder now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's a, that's a very fresh nail. I think that nail on! Jason! <laughs> this is Hopper's helping Holly to build oh, her. That's so to, unhelpful. To build her. To build her. Here, Hopper. Here. That's, that's the expert. That's the advisor. There's, there's a Harley. Harley Hell's Angels. Harley, there's a Harley Davidson biker. <laughs> Satisfying, Holly? Very satisfying. You're going to give up veterinary? Uh, <laughs> See if I can get a job. <laughs> this mixer. So once the plywood was up, it really changed the room a lot. Um, it really brightened up the place after the grey concrete walls. Like this lighter plywood colour was, yeah, very nice in comparison. Um, so then because we didn't realise until we put the plywood up, the, the ground of the stable wasn't level <laughs> so that means that at the bottom all the pieces of plywood were like uh kind of like had steps for each piece because we tried to line them up straight at the top um and then i put a skirting board around the bottom i did do that i even used this weird this i don't know what it's called actually it's like a saw yeah i think it's just called like a saw i used like this saw to cut my pieces off um the skirting board to go around the tack room so that looked made it look way better because before it was all very like bumpy and then this just made, meant you couldn't see that so it looked great <laughs> so yeah we did the skirting board Good. sorry let me go back before we did the skirting we put down tiles because my dad's friend who is helping us in most of these clips um he is Thank God he was there because me and my dad didn't really know what we were doing and he is like he knows what he's doing and he's also a tiler. So he said to me like I wasn't gonna tile it I was just gonna leave it concrete and he's like I'll put tiles down for you. I was like okay <laughs> but I'm glad he did they look so good. So we picked up a few tiles and he tiled the floor for us. Oh thank you so much guys it looks great. You definitely don't watch these videos so I don't even know why I'm like addressing you. <laughs> um so yeah we tiled he tiled it looks really good um does mean i probably should be mopping it and cleaning it a bit more than i do but usually a good brush has it nice and clean so yeah i'm glad we did that so we did that and then we did the skirting boards so all that bit got done and then it was time to furnish it basically so like the floor and the walls were done um yeah oh dad also put in the light but i didn't get that on video he just did that one day so he put in this new light which is so good it's so bright makes everything look so lovely so yeah we have a good light in there now so next up was furnishings so i bought these gorgeous saddle racks and bridle holders i love them so much they are from i can't remember I will put up the name here um so yeah they're that brand and they were so nice they were like this dark wood and black oh gorgeous um yeah i really really like them they kind of just look a bit like classic slash vintage or whatever they're yeah really nice so i put up those saddle racks and bridle racks and then some hangers for um 
for head colors and stuff. Um, and then for more storage, I did a nice big online shop in Ikea because this was during lockdown, so I couldn't go to Ikea. So I just shopped online, which was actually great because I like shopping from the comfort of my own bed. <laughs> so I got lots of storage bits in Ikea. The main thing was a big black um, shelving unit, basically. So that's so great. I put most of my stuff on there. I also got a kind of the same color wood as the saddle racks. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a seat, but it also lifts up like a lid and you can put stuff inside it. And I actually didn't end up putting anything in there yet, but I will definitely find something. Um, it's just kind of extra storage. It's good for like numbness and rugs and stuff. Like it's quite big. And also I was totally inspired by Meg Elfix whiteboard in her yard and how she has everything organized on it so i got myself a whiteboard so i was like i'm gonna be so organized and then i also printed off loads of polaroids um well, like a polaroid style picture and stuck it all around the whiteboard and i think it looks so cute <laughs> i really wanted pictures and stuff in my tack room and i'd love to put more up like rosettes and stuff I'll probably do that next year in the spring again because I was kind of worried they get like kind of damp over the winter when I'm not there to use it. Um, so yeah, this is the finished tack room. I am absolutely in love. It's literally probably my dream tack room. I couldn't believe how well it turned out. Um, this is like completely DIY'd, like we didn't like just our friend Des helped us and um, everything we did ourselves. So yeah, I was shocked. I thought it would, I thought there'd be a few disasters. Um, we also have a dehumidifier machine in there. So that's good for keeping the humidity out of the room. As I was saying, the walls got a bit damp. So we just wanted to make sure that was in there so the wood didn't get damp. And also to stop my tack from getting so moldy during the winter. And I also have a little bin in there, so no excuses for there being rubbish everywhere because there's a bin. And I also have a doormat to wipe your feet when you come in. And I also have a brush that lives in there permanently because it needs to be swept out all the time. It gets so dirty, but that is life. And at least I now am very, very motivated to keep it super clean because yeah, we put in so much hard work into it. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just so delighted. I hope you guys like it and maybe get inspired to do up your own tack room. Even just a good clean of your tack room, like throw out all that junk that you don't need. Oh my gosh, I had so much. And then I was able to give it to other people that actually used it. So I think that is a win. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of it. Um, and make sure to like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.